This clip was taken from the series, Asking for a Friend. What we all think, but think we shouldn't. The entire series can be found at fromthefray.com slash asking. How do we stay alive when we feel like loneliness is trying to crush us and kill us? The answer truly is humility. The pure form of what humility really means. Because as Lewis would say later, humility is not thinking less of myself. It's thinking of myself less. If I spend less time thinking of myself, then I'm not focused on my problems. And all of a sudden my problems don't bother me as much. So here's how we use humility to genuinely reach in and touch those three people inside of us, in our heart, that are most prone to loneliness. Remember these three from earlier? The envious person, the lazy person, and the, the workaholic? Here's what humility would say to these three people. First of all, to the envious, which is all of us. So we're always susceptible to this one. Take a genuine interest in another person. A genuine interest. Everyone is their own favorite topic of conversation. The sooner you learn that, the better. I don't want to talk about you. I want to talk about me. And now that we're done talking about me, let's talk about what you think about me. Everybody wants to talk about themselves. So you, you kill envy and jealousy and gr greed by asking someone questions about themselves. And here's the point. Here's what's important. Then close your mouth and listen. Give them an opportunity to do what their heart is directing them towards. Let them talk about themselves to a person who is genuinely interested in who they are as a person. If you're prone to laziness, chances are you need to forget your feelings. Forget them. Feelings are overrated. Yours are and so are mine. Especially in the area of motivation. Motivation. It's another word we don't use correctly. Lazy people tend to think motivation is a magical set of emotions that will give you an injection of energy and, and uh, motivation and happiness right before you do something that matters. That's backwards. That's not motivation. Motivation is momentum that shows up in your life after you've started going down the right path and it keeps you going in that direction. So forget your feelings if you're lazy. It doesn't matter if you feel like it. You know how often I feel like going to work? It's pretty rare. That's why they have to pay me to do it. How you feel is completely irrelevant. How you feel stop matters, stops mattering when you're about three years old. After that, you have to start to grow up and do what you need to do instead of what you feel like doing. So forget about your feelings and instead do something friendly for another person. And I promise you, you will be surprised how quickly your emotions catch up to your obedience and reward you for doing the right thing. I'll be, I promise you, you will be. If, if work worship is your thing, if for you joy and friendship and peace are always out there on the horizon, then chances are you need to keep score daily, every day. In other words, don't fall into the trap of trying to measure joy based off of what you will get tomorrow, what you will get done, who will be in your life later, that, that doesn't work that way. Instead, force yourself to ask every single day, where did I find joy and rest and peace today? Or even better, whose life did I bring joy and peace into today? Force yourself to keep score every day because tomorrow doesn't even exist. So keep score daily.